At King's University until May 3rd is a collection of images by seven different photographers called Life Squared. The collection examines life after prison. The goal of the exhibit was to focus on the issue of release and reintegration. One of the, the main themes is uh, the freedom. Um, that's felt by, by people when they're released. The whole spectrum, it's all folks that have been released from the prison system and are reintegrating into Edmonton and the Edmonton area. Kind of exploring what that word freedom really means and all the sort of, um, I mean, the joy of it, but also some of the anxiety and fear that can come along with freedom. You did time uh, in the Edmonton institution and uh, agreed to be part of a photography session that's being displayed here. What compelled you to be a subject for these photographers? Um, to share my story and to maybe help other people who are struggling and try to reintegrate and just letting them know that uh, change is possible. Photographer Bree Voss shot pictures of Davina's post-prison life in a colorful natural environment. Capturing the subject where they felt most free, where they felt most, most comfortable and most themselves again after going through the system, that is, is a difficult experience. Now that fellow's been out for a while. I think. He's been out for quite a while, yeah. Yeah, so um, yeah, he's, he's been leading um, a relatively healthy life in the community for quite some time and, and cares for his godson yeah. regularly. So um, yeah, he's, he's a real kind of success story in a lot of ways. For an Edmonton audience, I think it's especially pertinent because there are uh, quite a number of folks that get released into the Edmonton area. We have a lot of both provincial and federal prisons in our city or in and around our city. And so, and because of our job market as well, there's a lot of people that reintegrate into our area. This is a great relief, of course, isn't it? In many ways. I mean, you're drug free, you're, you have a free life. Again. Yes, I do, and I'm able to raise my children and trying to be better and strive to be better people and to make changes. Second chances. It applies to all of those who were photographed for the Life Squared collection. Some of them were captured a month or two or even less after release, others uh, were. Uh, several decades after their release and they've been in their communities for you know 10, 20, 25 years. When she was inside, decided she wanted to pursue her education and um, has since been able to do that. And so this just kind of explores her life as a student. So she, you know, there's the studying kind of aspect of it, but she also uh, is a really gifted hockey player. So I think as photographers, we tried our best to connect with the, the person that we were getting to know and, and the individual themselves and, and learn more about who they were as a core person and, and try and convey that through the images we took of them. The way that the photographers have really captured their uh, mood and their the kind of unique aspects of their personality, I think all of them have done a really great job of that. I think it suits the social justice um, connection that King's instills in their, in their students and in their community and that it is a, is a really good fit for our community to, to sort of connect in this way. Life Squared, on at King's through May 3rd. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy.